Today our work is done. Finny. Say, could we go to the tea shop, Azuki Arai, together? It will be my first time going. Will you maybe, uh, how do you say, show me the ropes? Oh, you are my hero, Kataja Kanai. Takora, let's be off then. We'll go together, my Tomodachi. Mm. The Azuki desserts here are amazing. Red bean is so oishi. I love the culture of Nihon. Japan is sugoi. Amazing. Yes, you understand. Japanese culture is number one. Ichiban! I am so happy I came here. I want to learn everything about Nihon and become Japanese. Thank you for joining me today. I won't forget your kindness. I have an aunt who lives back home. She has been helping me. I have to tell her that I've made a wonderful new Tamodachi. about Nihon. I must dream a bit longer, I suppose. We'll continue our Japanese adventure another time. See you later! Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. This so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look forward.
waiting. I must so. So up, so down, so all around. If the cuckoo doesn't sew, then I will show it. We should take a break for now. You have gotten much better at this. Zubarashi, wonderful. Ooh, so humble. That is very admirable. Kanshin. By the way, I have a question for you. I would like to make something Japanese, but what? Yes! It has to be a kimono! But, uh, kimonos are very hard to make. I don't really know where to start. And the material is not exactly affordable. Hmm. I have to think about it. But I appreciate the advice. You are the only one I can talk to here in this country. As long as I have you, I will be okay. Daijobu! Oh la la, look at the time! I must make my way home now. See you later! who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? They never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, uh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. 
What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. All right, fine. Really gonna kiss? Do they not know where they are? That's right! I agree! This is supposed to be a place of learning! And they're still just kids. So I say this, as a member of the student council. That kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school! We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized too. going to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. Welcome back! to ask around like we agreed? Huh? Were we supposed to do something by today? I told you! I know, I know! I'm kidding! Man, we've got such a short temper. Fine, then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Don't forget! Yes, ma'am.
Hmm. Ah. Oh. Hmm. So you noticed. Uh. Last night. My aunt. She, yeah. <laughs> she was taken by the angels. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were not expecting to deal with this. My aunt was the reason I was able to come to Japan. And now she's been taken away. She helped me so much, but I could not do anything for her. I tried holding it all inside. I felt that crying would not help me. But when I saw the look on your face, I... Uh... Forgive me, but I cannot sew today. I am going home. Well, see you later. As we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? Correct. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes, and at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep, there's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? Now we're talking. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but... Man, you have to say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly.
marvelous. I'm looking forward. How may I assist you? Please take a look. Does that persona catch your eye? Please take so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look... all the time. How come mom and dad don't get along anymore? I know. I'll just ask them why. If I know why, I can fix it and make it all better. I'm gonna make mom and dad happy again. Wish me luck, okay? Okay. I'm gonna ask them. It's time. Let's get going. Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. How are you scared of ghosts, but totally fine with this? Because stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can't see. Like bats. And knives. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, let's strike while the iron's hot. Strike? You're actually excited about this? Are these guys? 
Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh, man. This is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. Cause this place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I... What I'm saying is, you being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Oh, <laughs> you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on, don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on, let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? It'll be Ugh, fine. Shit! Son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Uh. No. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh man, what a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? <laughs> yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They'd brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Yamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering. So, you mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akoda is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, that's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Come on. Show some appreciation. I didn't do nothing. Thank you for helping us. And for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh... Sorry. Just don't come here again.
Time. Good, good. Not bad. Thanks, kid. Bye-bye. Senpai, why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way, Fuka. Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kirijo-kun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. 
Mariyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so... She went back to the school by herself, but she never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but... She wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. Despi- no! I, I... I didn't mean... Uh, I, I was just... That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. W wait but... Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. Oof. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai, could it be? It's them, no doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be all right as well. <laughs> Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. But that was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? That's a good point. 
This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last 10 days worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her... I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Senpai? All right, we know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? An explosive? <laughs> all right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Scared? No, I'm not. <laughs> Stupé. Hey, that's uncalled for. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Obviously, I was choking. <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. All right, let's get this over with. something what there's someone else here we gotta hide <sighs> it was 
just a security guard. No, I'm not. I'm just a little nervous, that's all. I mean, can you blame me? Everyone has something they're afraid of. This is a totally normal reaction. Well, now that I think about it, that could have just been someone else from our group, so hearing footsteps isn't a big deal. Maybe. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, right? <laughs> uh, why am I laughing? <coughs> my phone! Why now? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. What? That's not funny, you know. No. No. It's so dark, I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Are you sure? The word looks shorter than that. Oh, it says Jim! I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatani. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no. It's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour, but we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. We are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got separated. Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying.
Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Don't worry, you'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again.
Man, we were worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? It, that's it? That's the voice? Wait, didn't that come from behind us? <sighs> Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Hmm. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait. You've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um... okay... All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon! It's huge! I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Uh, you go. Shut those up. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone! Damn it! What the hell's going on? Totally lost here! It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've gotta hurry! Hey! Wait for me! What? Two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <sighs> What's going on? Nothing's working! Tanada san! Gotta draw the shadows away! Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it! Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. No, what are you? 
are you doing here? Moriyama-san? Hey! Come back! Please, get out of here! It's not safe! I... I had to tell you... I'm sorry... <laughs> Protect her! Yamagishi-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take your place. We'll handle these guys. for the monster's weaknesses. Please, give me some time! I'll show him to do it. I got your back. 
What's next? It's over. Luca, you... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Luca! It's all right. She's just exhausted. Luca, Luca, I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry! <laughs> Precisely. 